You've probably never questioned music's impact on your mental health. Me neither. Until it made me go from this... ...to this. I've got no energy to work out or whatever, which is a very unusual thing for me. So can music ruin your life? Yes, absolutely. Let me show you how. Two months ago, when Spotify Wrapped 2022 came out, I realized that one, I'm addicted to music. I listened to music for around 90 days straight, which is a quarter of a year, including sleep. And two, that my music taste changed dramatically and it went hand in hand with my life changing for the better. At that point, I started questioning, how does music influence me? I did some research and it turned out that listening to music can reduce anxiety, blood pressure and pain, as well as improve sleep quality, mood, mental alertness and memory. There were only articles showing the surprising psychological benefits of listening to music. But there are always some negatives, aren't there? That was when I decided to check that myself. Can music ruin my life? In order to check that, I decided to listen to different music genres every day and document how I feel. I started by listening to upbeat genres, like rock or hardstyle. The playlist that I'm going to be listening to is available down in the description, so make sure to check it out. The first day is here and I'm pretty excited because today I'm listening to motivational rock. As expected, listening to upbeat genres made me feel excited, motivated and generally great. Hurra! What I've noticed with this music genre, other than the fact that I love it, it's like an energy shot. It gets me very hyped, but after two hours I'm exhausted. Anyway, that was a great gym session. We all hit PRs. Now I'm just going to edit the TikTok that I filmed yesterday, and that's going to be pretty much it for the day. That was pretty much how my favorite music genres influenced me in 2022. It's obvious that they are beneficial at the gym, but I've come to realize that listening to them all the time makes me much more productive. Hardstyle blasting in my ears makes me want to do stuff. But the main point of this experiment was to see the negatives of listening to music. That's why I have to go back to 2021 and listen to genre that stick with me when I was depressed. Sad rap. I really didn't want to do it. I was scared of messing up my mental health. I really don't want to listen to those sad songs. They remind me of time when I was sleep deprived, sad, life was generally shit, I was heartbroken, but okay, I understand that it's just music. My mental health is great now, so why would I worry so much? And you know, I filmed too much footage to give up now. Even if tomorrow is going to be a sad day, a sad day doesn't make a sad life. The only positive thing I've noticed is that I feel much calmer than yesterday, but at the same time I don't feel like doing anything, and I hate it. I've got no energy to work out or whatever, and I don't even know what I'm going to do now, which is a very unusual thing for me. Unproductivity was just the beginning. Sad music hit me harder in the evening. At one point I started paying more attention to lyrics of songs that I listened to. What are usually main topics in such sad genres? Heartbreak, loneliness, anxiety, depression. We don't think about it on a daily basis, but words you hear transfer into your thoughts, and your thoughts affect directly your feelings. 
Even though I'm in a happy relationship, I'm feeling heartbroken only because I listen to a guy who sings about how love is there. Why do people listen to sad music every day? I do not understand why would anyone do that to themselves. I had nothing to worry about and despite that I was feeling down. This experience made me realize that we often suffer only in our head. Nothing bad happens in reality and yet we are sad and can't enjoy real life. Now I completely understand why I was depressed by the end of 2021. I fell into the sadness loop. You're sad, so you listen to sad music. And it goes like that forever, you just cannot experience happiness. Luckily back then this trend saved me. I fell in love with hard style and that was when I changed the course of my life. Music impacts our mood long term. Certain songs, genres, lyrics are much more likely to intensify depression or anxiety, sometimes as much or even more than outside stressors and environmental factors. It is important to be aware of type of music, lyrics and how they impact you. Not just short term or in the moment, but after days or even weeks after listening. Music is a tool that can either strengthen you or kill you. You most likely don't choose what you listen to consciously. Most of us base our choices on our mood. If you are already in a bad mood or even depressed, you're more likely to choose music that you can emotionally relate to. And guess what you can relate to? Music that brings you down even harder. Now that you know all of that, you can start making better choices. First of all, if you never listen to sad music, then you're less likely to be sad in general. But if you are already in a bad mood, force yourself to listen to something uplifting. I'm not saying that you have to play something you hate. Just choose something more upbeat musically and positive lyrically. You can be picky about what you put in your mind, just like you can be picky about what you put in your body. In the end, choices you make can help or harm your mental health. To sum up, music is an extremely powerful tool. Listening to sad songs is literally wanting to be sad. Therefore, I will never listen to a sad song again. If you want to live a happy life too, then I dare you to listen to positive songs only. Mental health is extremely important, so if you know someone who listens to sad songs that constantly bring them down, then send this video to them. If you've made it this far, then consider subscribing, it's up to you. I hope you learned something new from this video, and I will see you in the next one. What do you think of rock music? Yo, I think uh, rock music is like this type of music that you listen to and you just have a good fucking time, you know? Let's <laughs> just <laughs> Oh.